Growing up in a black family, we were always taught what happens in this house stays in this house. So you're never supposed to speak about what happens in that house. But unfortunately for me, in that house was rape, molestation, it was abuse. So I grew up thinking that everybody was being raped and molested and abused. Like, I can't be the only one. There's no way I'm the only one who's being abused by their mother, the only one who's being molested by their father's friends. Like, I can't be the only one. Everybody does this. It's happened to everyone. So I would just keep it to myself. And then it took till I was 33 years old, literally 33 to realize that not everybody is out here being abused by their mother not everyone is being um gaslit not everyone is being abused physically sexually it's not normal it may happen a lot but that doesn't mean it's normal and there's also something extremely 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 wrong with a child being abused physically, sexually, emotionally, and not being able to say anything. I start telling everybody about the abuse and I start putting it on Facebook and I start my YouTube channel and that made people hate me even more. The more I spoke up against what was happening to me, the more my family and other people outside my family hated me for telling everyone what happens in the house, in the black community. I can only speak for the black community, the melanated, melanated community. This is what happened. We're being taught to endure abuse. Why? Why are we being taught to endure abuse? Well, because two generations before, my mother was slavery. Literally, it wasn't that long ago. Slavery was not that long ago. Segregation was not that long ago. My father was born on the black side of the hospital. My father. My father. Not my grandfather. Not my great-grandfather. My father was born on the negro side of a hospital in california so i want to point that out in california where there was supposed to be no slavery which it was however the point is slavery wasn't that long ago so all the abuse that we've been enduring from from our family is derived from slavery he wasn't allowed to say anything so we care he wasn't allowed to say anything so we carried that it is not okay for your uncles to touch your privacy just because that is your uncle. It is not okay for your mom to abuse you and call you names because you're prettier than her and she's jealous because you stole her beauty. That was personal. But it is not okay for you to be hurt and abused in your home. It is not okay for you not to stand up for yourself. You have to stand up for yourself. You have to set boundaries, even with your parents. And understand this, your parents were not allowed to have boundaries because their parents wasn't allowed to have boundaries and then there was slavery set boundaries break those curses stand up for yourself tell everybody what's going on the more you speak the more others will speak do not shut up talk 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 talk